the slice function is one of the five advanced layer functions available in Cricut Design Space. This function is located at the bottom of the layers panel and it becomes active when you select two layers. In this video, I'll go over three different examples of how to use the slice function. So let's suppose you want to create the design that is on the right. How would you do that using the design elements that are on the left? You will use slice functions to create the design that is on the right. So the way to do this is I added this image here, which is the state of Texas, and then I added text using the, state, the text function in the design panel. I'm going to go ahead and resize the word home exactly the way I want it, and then I'm going to place it on top of the image exactly where I want it. If you need some help overlaying your images, you can use the align function to help you do that. In this case, I don't need it, but just a reminder that you can do that as well. So I'm going to delete this layer so you can see what's going to happen. So now that I have these two layers in here, I'm going to select both layers. Remember that you can select it like that, or you can actually click here where it says select all. So once I have that, you can see that the slice function becomes active. If you select only one layer, the slice function is not active, so it's inactive. And if you have three layers, for example, I have these three layers and now I'm going to select them you will notice that the slice function is not active. So remember, you can only select two layers at a time when you try to use the slice function. I'm gonna delete the heart and now I'm gonna go ahead and select both of my layers and then I'm gonna click the slice function. As you can see here in my layers panel, I have three layers listed. I have the actual word or text that I started with and then I have the resulting image which actually has the word home cut through it and then I also have text layer. As you can see the slice function is like a paper punch or a paper puncher where you will have your paper punch, the shape cut through that piece of paper and then you will end up with pieces of paper with the shape of the design or the or the paper puncher. So obviously you no longer have the piece of paper that you started with. Similarly with the slice function I no longer have the map of the state of Texas. The original layer is gone and now I have the map of the state of Texas with the word home cut through it. I also have the piece of, of paper per se with the word home and here is my paper puncher. So that's kind of the analogy to use the slice function. Now the slice function can also be used in two other different ways and I'm about to show you that. But before I jump there, I wanted to mention that if you're working with very complex designs, I think it's very important to sometimes duplicate your layers so you can keep your original layer in case you want to go back. Let's say that you don't like this text and you want to change the text using a different font and you want to redo the whole thing because you don't like how the design came out. So in order for you to do that, you're going to have to reinsert the map of the state of Texas and it could be more complicated when you have more complex designs. So in that case, what I would recommend is that you make a copy of your original layer. So if I go back before I use the slice function, I will make a duplicate of this layer and then I will hide it. Then I will go ahead and proceed to make my design. This case is here and remember that when you select layers on your canvas, the layers that are selected will be darker gray on your layers panel and that will tell you which layers are selected. So now I'm going to click the slice function and then there you go. I have three layers that resulted from the slice and then I also have the original layer that I can use if I ever need to go back or change the design. So once you use the slice function, you can go ahead and remove things that you don't want. So for example, I'm going to remove these uh, text layers and then this is the design that I'm going to make with my Cricut. So now let's go over example number two. Let's suppose you downloaded this image online and you're going to insert it on your canvas. I want to edit this design. I really don't like the stars and I want to remove them from the design. So I can use the slice function to do that. There are different ways to do this. Like you could also re-upload the image and use the eraser function used from the image upload menu. And I'll show you in another video how to do that. Or you can also use the option of contour. But I will use the slice function to remove the, the stars to be able to edit my design. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert some shapes. You can insert a square or a circle, whatever you want. And then I'm gonna resize it to the size of the stars so that I can then go ahead and slice them. 
And basically, that's going to remove them from the, the, the image. So remember that with the slice function, you can only select two layers at a time. But I have five different stars. So that means I will have to do the slice function five, five times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the circles so I can get five different circles. And then I'm going to weld those layers or those circles into one layer. And that's going to allow me to select two layers. So let me show you what I'm saying. So here I have my five circles. If I click the well functions, which I have a separate video explaining you how to use it. But in this case, this is what I'm going to do real quick. And you're going to see that now I have one layer that have five circles, which means I can select two layers and then use the slice function. So now I can remove the additional layers. I have this layers with the circles and the stars got through them. So I'm going to delete that. And then I have the image, which is what I wanted without the stars. Now notice that I also have the stars as a result. So if you want to use something in a design to then use it in a separate design, you can also use the slice function. So let's suppose that I wanted to get the stars from the image. Then what I will do is just delete this image. And now I have this design, which I can use it to create other designs. For example, I can add some word in here, like um, Andrena Crafts. And then I can just create some sort of design that includes the stars. And I basically didn't download the stars the way they are in here. I cut them out of an image. I extracted them so then I could use it in a different design. So that's basically the idea. Those are the three main examples or three ways that you can use the slice function. I hope this video was very useful to you. Remember, you can ask me questions and leave them on the comments below. And I'm going to link all the other videos that I have for the different five advanced layer functions. And I also have my beginner's tutorial that you can follow as well.